In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, and welcome to the Shrine and Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins, and we ask God's mercy and the forgiveness. In all humility altogether, we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, Look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, in regard to virgins, I have no commandment from the Lord, but I give my opinion as one who by the Lord's mercy is trustworthy. So this is what I think best because of the present distress, that it is a good thing for a person to remain as he is. Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek a separation. Are you free of a wife? Then do not look for a wife. If you marry, however, you do not sin, nor does an unmarried woman sin if she marries. But such people will experience affliction in their earthly life, and I would like to spare you that. I tell you, brothers, the time is running out. From now on, let those having wives act as not having them, those weeping as not weeping, those rejoicing as not rejoicing, those buying as not owning, those using the world as not using it fully. For the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Listen to me, daughter. See and bend your ear. Hear, O daughter, and see. Turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty. For he is your Lord, and you must worship him. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. All glorious is the king's daughter as she enters. Her raiment is threaded with spun gold. In embroidered apparel, she is borne in to the king. Behind her, the virgins of her train are brought to you. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. They are borne in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king. The place of your fathers, your sons shall have. You shall make them princes through all the land. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Please stand. Rejoice and live for joy. Your reward will be great in heaven. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Raising his eyes toward his disciples, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, when they exclude and insult you, and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and live for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. For the ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. Woe to you who are filled now, you'll, you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for the ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang ating Panginoon, pag siya ay nangangaral, laging may kabalintunaan, paradox, yung binabaliktad niya. Iba sinabi niya, Ang sinumang nagpapakataas ay ibababa. Ang sinumang nauuna ay mahuhuli. Ngayon sa Ebanghelo, sabi niya, mapapalad ang mga kapuspalad. Mapapalad ang mga sawimpalad. Ano ibig sabihin nito? Ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoon, Mapapalad ang mga taong walang laman ang palad kasi naging bukas ang palad nila. At pag bukas ang palad mo, Diyos ang pupuno niyan. Ang ating mga palad ay nakaugat sa ating mga puso. Pag sarado yung puso mo, sarado din yung palad mo. Pero pag bukas yung puso mo, bukas din yung palad mo. Kaya madali kang punuin ng Diyos. Pag ikaw ay bukas palad, yung bang ang inaasahan mo lang lagi ay Diyos. Nagtitiwala ka ng lubos-lubosan sa Diyos. Alam mong hindi ka pababayaan. Kaya nahalata ako ha, yung mga taong bukas palad, dal bukas ang puso, ito yung mga taong mapagbigay eh. Generous. Bukas kasi yung palad nila, dal bukas yung puso. At tingnan nyo ha, yung mga taong bukas palad, yung generous, kahit hindi mayaman yan ha, kahit mahirap yan ha, pero dahil sila yung mapagbigay, alam mo, hindi sila kinakapos. Hindi kinukulang. Pero yung mga taong madamot, yung sarado yung palad, at sarado yung puso, aba, ito yung mga taong laging kinakapos eh. Reklamo ng reklamo, bakit? Hindi na ko kontento. Kaya hindi sila nagiging masaya. Kaya maganda tong aral ng ating Panginoon, no? Maging bukas palad at yung bukas na palad ay nakaugat sa bukas na puso mo. At kapag bukas yung puso mo, bukas yung palad mo, ikaw ay nagiging malaya. Kasi Pag sarado yung puso mo, sarado yung palad mo, ikaw ay mistulang bilanggo. Yung mga taong bukas palat bukas puso, ito yung mga taong yung malaya sila. Malaya sila sa lahat ng uri ng galit, ng inggit, ng negatibong mga bagay. Kasi bukas yung puso nila eh. Handa silang magpatawad. Naging malaya sila at hindi naging alipin ng kanilang pangit at masakit na nakaraan. Kasi bukas yung puso nila eh. Handa silang makalimot at handang magpatawad. At ito yung mga tao na yung bukas yung puso, yung bang naging malaya sila sa lahat ng pananakit sa kanila. Lahat ng pag-alipusta, 
lahat ng uh, mga masasamang sinasabi nila, ng iba, naging hindi na pinapansin. Hindi na pinapatulan yung mga marites at mga marisol, yung mga maring susol ng susol. Malaya sila doon. Hindi siya nagpapapekto. At malaya din sila sa lahat ng mga maling paniniwala. Malaya sila sa mga kasinungalingan. Malaya sila sa maling mga paniniwala. Kasi ang lagi nilang pinaniwalaan ay ang katotohanan. Katotohanan na nanggagaling sa Diyos. Kaya itong sabi na po, mapalad kayo. Kasi bukas yung puso ninyo, bukas ang inyong palad, bukas ang isipan ninyo. At ang inyong buong pagkatao ay bukas sa Diyos. Kapag bukas ka sa Diyos, ikaw ay mapupuno ng presensya ng Diyos. Pagbukas yung puso mo, bukas yung palad mo, pagbukas yung palad mo, doon ka lamang maaring makipag daop palad sa Diyos. Maring hawakan ng Diyos ang kamay mo at hindi lang kamay mo, hawakan ng Diyos ang puso mo upang siya ang aakay sa iyo. Kahilingin natin sa ating Panginoon, sa ating mahal na ina. Panginoon, mahal na ina, turuan niyo po ako na maging bukas palad at maging bukas ang puso ko. Nang sa ganoon, ako ay maging mapagbigay, ako ay magiging malaya. At higit sa lahat, ako Panginoon ay mapupuno ng presensya mo. At ako ay mabuhay lagi sa iyong piling Panginoon hanggang sa wakas ng aking buhay sapagkat hawak mo ang aking kamay at ako ay gagabayan mo lagi patungo sa iyo. Sitayo po tayo. Rich and poor alike, God calls us together as sons and daughters of the kingdom. Let us pray to our Father with sincere hearts. And our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That under persecution, the church may hold fast to the faith and bring people together. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the poor and the hungry may receive their fill through the sincere efforts of our leaders. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That believers who are hated, insulted, rejected, and abused may rejoice in the comfort of the kingdom awaiting them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the elderly may feel secure by our love and care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed may obtain the Lord's mercy through the help of our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of this Mass, and in the silence of our hearts, we present to the Lord our own personal intentions. Almighty God, hear our petitions. Let our lives proclaim the happiness to which you call us, for you are our Lord, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race. So also through him with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time, he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Now, in loving confidence, we pray to our Father in the words Christ taught us. 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Here is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, 
through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved son's great, great gifts that you may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Dear devotees of Our Lady of Manawag, the October Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag will be on October 2, 2022. We invite you to participate in our Novena Masses, which will start from September 23 to October 1, 2022. If you wish to sponsor one or several Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation where you will be provided with an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org for the online PAMISA. All names of donors and sponsors will appear in the electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. Please stand. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikisa sa banal na misa. At patuloy po nating pagnilay-nilayan at isabuhay ang mensahe ng ating Ibanghelyo para sa araw na ito. Kapag ka bukas ang ating puso at bukas ang ating palad, doon lamang tayo maaaring makipag palad sa Diyos. Mag-ingat po kayo sa pag-uwi at nawilagi po kayong pagpalain ng ating Panginoon at ng ating mahal na ina. Hanggang sa muli po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Ayun po yung pagbendisyon ng mga religious articles. So may mga pabendisyonan po, mangyari po lamang na pakitaas lang po ng mga pabendisyonan po ninyo at wag na po kayong umalis sa inyong makinaroroonan, kami na po ang lalapit sa inyo. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ and Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, images, oil, scapulars, crucifixes, prayer books, and the articles of devotion be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.